If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. The Coach Adam Fawcett Show brought to you this morning by the B.B. Comer Booster Club and uh, uh, the <coughs> Alumni Association. And, uh, of course, uh, Coach Fawcett, uh, head football coach and athletic director at B.B. Comer Weaver in town last Friday night. And, you know, the region you guys in, uh, <laughs> you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't wish that on your own no. worst enemy. No, I wouldn't. And it's, uh, you know, it's... I was talking to somebody this week, and, and I said, man, the, three of the six teams in our region are in the top five in the state. Top five in the state. Um, and I was asked yesterday, how do you think the region will fare in the playoffs? I think the I think our region will go 4-0 and in the first round. I was round. about to say, somebody will and, probably win it. Yeah, you know, and I, and I think that when, when it gets down to the final two teams, I think one of them will be from this region. So, um, you know, it's it's been <laughs> – it's hard to it's hard to like explain to people that may not follow or <laughs> and especially people that don't understand from the inside out but it's been such a learning experience mm -hmm. and such a growing experience for our kids and um, you know talking week in and week out hey this is where we want to be and this is where where we where we need to get to so you know last week with Weaver Weaver had some kids that were just animals I mean they were just huge so uh, 34 for Weaver it was a big kid um, that's Jason reeling off a long run there. Yeah, um, he's been a, he's been a stalwart for you all year. Yeah, if you could redshirt kids, I'd, I'd like to <laughs> redshirt Jason and, and bring him back along with most of our other seniors. You know, it's a um, good group of kids. But but yeah, Weaver Weaver was kind of a number thirty four for Weaver. I'm sure he's on one of these one of these shots somewhere. <laughs> he he was like I'm like guys, that's what the weight room does. That kid probably lives in the weight room. He's he's a huge kid. So. Um, but, you know, and, and the, the deal with Weaver, so it's 13 nothing at halftime. You go back two weeks, it's 14 nothing mm -hmm. at halftime mm -hmm. against Piedmont. And, and the, the reasonings for that and, you know, the, hey, man, it's close for a half, and then it, it busts open in the second half. Well, Piedmont doesn't play but maybe three guys both ways. Um, Weaver played two guys both ways. <laughs> And every once in a while, a guy that won the offensive line would come in and spot play or whatever else. But, but it's that it's that depth that we have that they have. So, mm -hmm. you know, against Weaver, right before halftime, there was a there was two plays right before halftime where I lost three guys. And then you're reeling and you're looking for, all right, I'm, I've got to move the guard to center. I've got to move a, a kid in to play guard. Well, no, let's move the tackle to guard, and then we'll move the, the kid that's coming in off the bench, we'll move him to tackle. So um, it, it, it's like a puzzle because of depth, you know. Yeah. We've talked about how how numbers are better this year, but even even with the better numbers, there's still depth issues because we don't have have certain guys that can play those certain positions. And and that's key in, in, le in moving forward is mm. we've got to get those other guys out and there's probably five six seven guys that aren't yeah. playing that should be out playing ball talk talk about uh some of the players that were injured uh last week the mm. severity of those injuries and and uh heading in to the final game of the season getting kind of on some on some level ground here with yeah. Fayetteville yeah yeah we are and um you know Fayetteville's they're kind of in the same shoes we are mm -hmm. they, they have a tough region uh in their 2a region they have a tough region so they're, they're in a situation where we are where they've got some guys banged up and beat up um the good news for us is we've got some guys back so like my, my center, Kobe McCain's back from an injury. <clears throat> uh, Raphael Johnson's back from an injury. So your um, eighth grader's so, out at center? So, <laughs> well, he's, he's still, I mean, he's still going to be in the mix because, yeah. you know, Kobe's been out for four or five weeks. Mm -hmm. So he's not in 100% football shape. You know, mm -hmm. like after a couple of series during pra practice all week, he's like, I'm, you know, you can see he's winded and things like that. So, um, you know, the, the eighth grader will still get playing time. He'll still play. And. And, and be a big part, but he's, you know, like my eighth grader, he can play guard, he can play center, he, he can play different positions. And, and that's, a, that's a, a good problem to have down yeah. the road because the more positions those kids know, the more valuable mm -hmm. they are, mm -hmm. you know, to the program. So, um, but yeah, we've got some kids back. Some of the kids that were injured uh, last week will be able to, will be game time decisions. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
they look pretty good just in in the rehab stuff but again it's it's something where uh, I, i'm not going to put a kid in harm's way just just for based on a ball game one of them was mad at me yesterday because he wanted to practice i said man you you cannot practice you're you're not cleared to practice you can do a few little drills here but that's it and he's like coach i just want to play and i said you know i understand that but let's think long term here mm. if you if you mess this thing up and then you have to have surgery and then, then it backs mm. everything up so um but yeah we, we're looking forward to friday it's uh <clears throat> it's been a good week of practice it's been um you know we've really focused on on the fact of hey we're going to send these seniors out on a good note and and we're also going to want to end the season with good taste in our mouths to to prepare for the off season yeah. and get ready so um before we head to break and talk about fatball uh, what have you learned uh, maybe uh, above most other things in your first year at BB Comron? I, I know it's been a learning curve, yeah. and, and uh, but this football team, this football program is on solid footing, mm-hmm. heading the right way. Yeah, I, I feel like we're headed in the right direction. Um, you know, it, it's one of those situations where, it, like, it, th- this is a process. This is not an mm-hmm. overnight thing. And, and I think that's huge to, for people to understand because, you know, you're, you're sitting at, at two wins, and they had two wins the previous year um, and had, had 12 players. Well, we have 30-something players and have two wins. We have a chance so it's really to not comparable. Have, no. Right. It's not comparable in, in, in terms of region, in terms of everything else. It's, it, it, this, has been, this has been a tough season mm-hmm. to, to go through. But one thing that I have learned is, you know, contrary to what a few people may think, like – our kids are resilient. Mm-hmm. Like our kids, Comer athletes are resilient kids, and they're, they're just going to keep fighting and keep getting after it and keep getting after it. So I haven't seen any quit in our kids throughout this season. And, and it, it would be easy, especially in this day and time, sure. it would be easy for, for a kid to say, you know, I'm just not coming back and not even show up. And that hasn't happened. You know, we've lost, throughout this whole season, we've lost two kids. Wow. And, you know, now I'm talking about just – they yeah. they determined hey we're we're not on the team anymore mm-hmm. not not injuries or anything like that but two kids have said hey we're this isn't for us and that's you know that's amazing in a season like you've gone through and with the ups and downs that you've gone through all right uh, BB Comer head football coach Adam Fawcett our guest this morning the uh, Tigers and Wolves tomorrow night Farm Links Field we'll talk about that game right after this. Hot under the collar because your basement is full of water? Call a local company you can trust. Ox Foundation Solutions. We use the most advanced water management system to stop water from invading your basement for good. Things feeling a little uneven at home? Ox Foundation Solutions will fix your uneven concrete sidewalk, driveway, or basement in no time. Ox Foundation Solutions has the best plan to keep your home safe. If you are experiencing any issues with your sidewalks, basement, crawl space, or foundation, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. We believe everybody should have a great night's sleep. That's why you have to check out our Scott Levy mattress collection today. Quality, comfort, and a lot of ease. Dream big. Introducing Scott Living Mattresses. For a limited time, save up to $1,000 on any Scott Living mattress set, plus 24 months special financing. When you buy a Scott Living mattress set, now is the best time to save up to $1,000 on a Scott Living mattress set. Come in today to check out these and many more great deals. King's Mattress Outlet, Silicaga. Coach Adam Fawcett continues to be with us. Before we get back to football, uh, we pumped up basketball as well, and uh, uh, a program that has been kind of dormant in a while. Mm-hmm. You're bringing it back. Yes, yeah, we're, we're uh, bringing back the youth, the Comer Youth uh, Basketball Program. Um, you know, Coach Hale is my basketball is my men's basketball coach, and he he grew up in that program, mm-hmm. so um, it was something that I'd already known about. And, and kind of was trying to learn some more about and then I was asking him about it and he's like, oh, we did this and we did that mm-hmm. and it was great. And, and uh, so we've put it in, in, in action and we, we've got the registration forms out. And, and it's, a, it's a good thing for, you know, you're getting, it's, it's K through, through sixth grade mm-hmm. and um, it's all, you know, it's on campus. They're gonna be, the, the players are gonna be helping coach the teams and, and it's just a good thing for the community. It's a good thing to keep those kids um, uh, within our program and let them be able to play in the same gym that the high school yeah. plays in and things like that. So um, we're looking forward to it. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of uh, interest in it, a lot of questions about it and things like that. So 
Uh, registration forms have gone out. We, we've sent registration ho forms home through the, uh, through the elementary school. However, there are extra forms in the high school office. I have extra forms available. Um, so uh, any questions, it's posted, on, posted through Facebook mm -hmm. or, or I can be contacted through the school and, and answer any questions that they may have. But we are doing the, we will be doing the youth basketball and, and cheer and um, it, it should be a lot of fun. So. All right. Back to football, final game of the season. Tomorrow night, Farm Links Field in Fayetteville, Alabama, B.B. Comer and the Fayetteville Wolves. And uh, I remember last year, uh, that was an overtime yeah. game, and it was an exciting game. Yeah. And when these two teams get together, you know, no matter what direction they may have had for the season, they always put it, leave it on the field. Yeah, I, I watched the I watched the last year's game again a couple nights ago, and and it was back and forth and and a lot going on. So, um, you know, Fable does a good job of, of mixing up run and pass. Uh, quarterback throws a very good ball. Uh, number seven is a receiver that that will go up and catch the ball. So, um, and, and they also Coach Limbaugh is known for for a little trickery here and there. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we we have to practice halfback passes and double passes and and skip passes and reverses and, and everything else that, that could be in the book. So um, we've, we've covered a lot this week with our guys. Um, you know, the, the key is for us is we've got to come out and be physical early and play physical mm -hmm. football. So mm -hmm. if we come out and play physical early, uh, I feel like that, that's to our benefit. Um, you know, guys like, you know, like Jason McMillan, when he's, when he's full speed, and, and running at you full speed and, and, and lowers his head to get extra yards, you're going to feel that. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, you know, guys like him, Devontae Carmichael, uh, who he's a little little guy, but man, he packs a punch. You know, if he uh, he's going to play some quarterback, he's going to play some running back. We're, we're going to move him around, um, but he he's got to be able to 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 lay some blows. And then, obviously, up, up front is the key. Um, that that's been an Achilles heel all year. Is mm -hmm. is up front. Um, and it's it's one of those things. I I was trying to look at look at our starting lineups and see how many times we started the same offensive line because <laughs> we've had so much attrition because of injury that we've moved so many kids around. So there's no there's no consistency there. Um, and, and being a lineman that that takes con it, that takes some consistency. So um, through college I had the same. I played offensive tackle. I had the same guard next to me for four years, and, and you know him and I ended up being roommates and everything else, but we knew we knew everything to do, you know, mm -hmm. um, and, and that consistency helps. But, um, <clears throat> you know, that that's going to be a key for us is up front. Uh, Fable has size. They have some speed. They, they, they have some things. They have some weapons to um, to to throw out there and show you uh, final. Uh High school game for uh, the senior group, yes. and uh, I know they're special to you. Yes, yes, this senior group, man, they, they're, they're, we've got all levels. You know, these 11 guys, I've got the ones that are really serious. I've got some that are silly. I've got, you know, so just their personalities mm -hmm. off the field. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss those personalities um, as far as the football realm goes. Obviously, they'll be around till May, but uh, you know, a lot of these guys. <clears throat> They, they have, you know, you look at, at Jason, Justin Vincent, um, Hunter Harris, um, I think there's one more I'm, I'm missing that, that have played all four years, mm -hmm. and, and they've, they've stuck it out and stayed and, and, and stayed the course. And that says a lot about those kids. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, you want so bad for something good to happen. Mm -hmm. And, and and for these seniors, I, I really want us to to go out with a bang, mm -hmm. and and it's big for them to be able to go out with a bang and and have a great night and and just enjoy it. And um, you know, the message to them is going to be one: it's going to be a challenge to go out and play mm -hmm. and, and give me four quarters. But the other the other message to the seniors Friday will be to soak it soak it all up, because this is what you know after that buzzer Friday night on after that fourth quarter buzzer, whether it's a win or a loss. High school football is over, and, and that's a this is a, a set of memories that they want yeah. that they'll carry with them forever. So, um, you know, that, I want them to I want to challenge them to play hard and, and, and to soak up the atmosphere and soak up the the teammates and the camaraderie and things like that. So, um, it's kind of like today at, at, after practice, that'll be the last time we're ever together as a team. Yeah. So, um, and I, I, I get a little sentimental about stuff too. So I I try to 
you know, I try to make sure that they understand it and, and enjoy it. Cause it's, it is Fayetteville and B.B. Calmer from Farm Linksville on Friday night kick at 7 o'clock. That is our game of the week. And, Coach, we'll see you in Fayetteville, Alabama. Thanks for coming. good. Thank you. Uh, coach Adam Fawcett, the head football coach and athletic director at B.B. Calmer High School, our guests this morning. More Daybreak right after this.